Three races in America next then. It's the New Jersey Hunt Cup versus a three and a quarter mile chase. Could be a bit of a gold cup pointer. Old Lang Syne at the top for Ryan Tamasemi. Beat you wings, Leon van Rensburg. Conno in Savage for David Rawson. Dictate Ross Martin. Lead them. G.I. Joe, Leon van Rensburg. Golden Miller, Craig Allen. Jumping Jack Flash, Paul Rose. Lord of the North, Joshua Sullivan. Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry. Riz One, Calloway. Oh, Vinnie Gerrard, Springgate, Darren Thompson, under Taurus, Craig Allen, glad all over, David Rawson, Kerry's girl, John Morgan, Little Green Bag, Ryan Tamasevi, lost on the way, Joshua Sutherland, and Wickstar Mayhem for Alex Cherry. So a big field of 17 for this then. This prestigious American prize. Making its debut in the league, away they go. And a very short run to the first of these American fences. And they're all safely over the first one. And Lord of the Way and Lost on no Lost on the Way and Lord of the North. And the two of them mixed up uh, as they come to the second, which is a very small fence. And you can see some of these seasoned chasers shouldn't have too much difficulty with these rather small obstacles, but it may just mean the race is a bit too quick for some of them. But Lord of the North is in the lead from Spring Gate. Who's settled down in second? Then Jumping Jack Flash is third. Old Lang Syne is back in fourth. And then Lost on the Way. Kerry's Girl in the light blue jacket. Only 17 fences in this as well. They've already taken the first couple. But it's Lord of the North who's showing the way. So they run past that hurdle, which isn't a great deal smaller than this fence. In fact, it looks bigger to me. But anyway, over that one they go. It could be there. Well, I was looking at it good. Anyway, they get down to the next and the leader stood off that one by well, quite some way. They're definitely not an optical illusion. These are definitely smaller than those supposed hurdles over the other side of the track. So I don't know what's going on there, but it's Lord of the North who's in the lead. Spring Gate is second. And Jumping Jack Flash is third and Old Lang Syne is fourth. Then Lost on the Way is next. Then last year's Gold Cup on a G.I. Joe, who's had his colours lowered a few times this season, is next. Golden Miller, who's quietly fancied by his trainer for this year's race is next then little green bags after that one and then under taurus with beat your wings and kerry's girl as they take number five and the one at the back dictate ross is running over a trip which is far too short but, uh, let's go around for a bit of practice and lord of the north in front heading down to fence number six with old lang syne jumping up into second spring gate is there in third jumping jack flash fourth and little green bag fifth and lost on the way as they get over number seven. And unsurprisingly, all the runners, all 17 of them, still on their feet. Haven't seen any, anything even make a mistake yet, I don't think. But Lord of the North is well clear as they make this turn again. With Spring Gate in second, and Old Lang Syne third. Jumping Jack Flash is fourth, and Little Green Bag is fifth, and then Lost on the Way is sixth, then Golden Miller and G.I. Joe and Under Taurus, and then Wittstar Mayhem and Rampant Lion stable mates together. With the David Rawson pair almost together as well. They've got a couple in between them as they get down to number eight, which they are all safer to the other side of, and all clearing these fences by um, a good way at the moment as they race down towards the next. Lord of the North, half a length clear of Spring the Gate in second. And a three length gap to Jumping Jack Flash and then Old Lang Syne and Little Green Bag. With Golden Miller and Lost on the way next and then G.I. Joe and Under Taurus. And a rampant line and Wittstar Mayhem together. And we're just behind them, glad all over. And Beat Your Wings, Kerry's Girl as. Um, Drop back a little bit, not running all that well today. Conno in Savage is next, and then Rizwan, Killowee, and finally Dictate Ross as they all get over the ninth and their way towards the tenth. Oh, the business end of the race, Spring Gate has taken the lead from Lord of the North, and there's the first mistakes of the race. The leading pair both making a bit of a mess of that, and that's allowed Old Lang Syne to come through and just about take it up. So Old Lang Syne then in the lead over that one. One or two of the jumps getting a little bit shoddy now. Rizwan Killowee made a mistake at the back there and has danger of being overtaken by Dictate Ross. Who would much prefer it if they've got to go around another time than they have got to go. But it's Lord of the North who's come back up to challenge for the lead again. Old Lang Syne 
on the inside. Spring Gate and Lost on the way next. Then Jumping Jack Flash. Golden Miller's getting closer. Little Green Bag is next. G.I. Joe's not made a move yet. Under Taurus is caught with that one. And Rampant Lion is after that. We're glad all over and beat your wings, but they're pretty tightly packed. And I would say the only two that are totally out of it are Rizwan Killaway and Dictate Ross. As they take this 12th. We've got less than a mile to race now. And over the 13th they go. Mistake there was Cotto in Savage. But Springgate's come back through to challenge for the lead again. So Springgate and Old Lang Syne and Lord of the North. From Lost on the way. And Jumping Jet Flash, Golden Miller making a forward move. G.I. Joe beginning to creep a little bit closer as well. And then Little Green back and Rampant Line under Taurus is next. Kerry's girl now being driven through the centre of the pack. going to need a dream run to get through that wall of horses there. And also swinging around the outside now. Cono in Savage who made that mistake not long ago. He's now going really well as they get over the 14th. And over that one the mistake there was by Whitstar Mayhem. But it's now Golden Miller that's hit the front. Golden Miller hit the front but he's immediately collared by Rampant Lion. It's Golden Miller and Rampant Lion. Cono in Savage has come through into third. Over the third last there goes suddenly this whole race has changed completely it's golden miller in front but being pressed by rampant lion then cotto and savage is back in third over the second last and it's rampant lion and golden miller rampant lines over in the lead and he's going away from golden miller rampant lion is racing down now towards the final two and a half furlocks He's about four lengths clear. Kerry's girls moving into second. G.I. Joe's moving into third. They're swinging towards the straight now. There's still a fair old way to go. Two furlongs, in fact, and only one more fence to take. And Rampant Lion hasn't gone too soon. Old Lang Syne is beginning to close. So is the old champion, G.I. Joe. Kerry's girls back in fourth. Jumping Jack Flash has been pulled up. And suddenly Rampant Lion's hit the wall. And it's G.I. Joe and Old Lang Syne. They're going to have a ding dong battle up the, up, the, up the straight. Coming down towards this final fence. Over it they go. Old Lang Syne on the inside. G.I. Joe on the near side. This isn't the first time they've had this this season, and it looks like Old Lang Syne's going to do him again. It's Old Lang Syne by two lengths. G.I. Joe's trying to fight back, but he's not going to get there, and Old Lang Syne wins it. G.I. Joe second. The winning post caught me out again, coming up far too soon. <laughs> to make that winning post twice the size of that, if it's that far away. <laughs> It's luckily the jockey knew where it was. I was still commentating how they passed the post, but it's Old Lang Syne that wins it. G.I. Joe second. Rampant Lion did it go a bit too soon in third. And Kerry's girl stuck on for fourth. But a strange old race, that one. I don't think it's really going to be much of a gold cup pointer, really. I don't know why. I don't think they just, just didn't seem to be all that testing, I didn't think. But Old, old Lang Syne's the winner. For Ryan Tamasebi, G.I. Joe for Leon Van Rensburg, second. Rampant Lion for Alex Cherry, third. Kerry's Girl for John Morgan, fourth. And Lost on the Way for Joshua Sutherland, fifth. I would say Golden Miller was probably the biggest disappointment there. It looked like it was coming through to win at one point, but that also may just lead into the fact that it might not be much of a much of a point at a Cheltenham because the trainer of Golden Miller seems to think that Golden Miller will be more suited to three and a quarter miles around Cheltenham than it were a flatter track so that might well be a bit of a red herring that one